Good morning, guys. Saturday morning. It's literally 11.22. And I just woke up. And um, I wanted to spend the day with you guys. Finally. <laughs> um, and, you know, every day when I wake up, first thing I do, check my messages, my emails, talk business, talk work everything no matter what the day saturday sunday i don't have like a specific day to do things so yeah i woke up and that's what i've been doing the entire morning and now i am gonna go get ready to go out you're spending the day with me and my friend gv <laughs> and yeah it's also hair wash day so i'm gonna wash my hair and just get ready i need to be out of here by like one so I need to get out of bed now. I was hoping to go for a walk, but there's no time. I don't even have time to do yoga because on Saturday, that's when Violet, uh, my helper, comes. So I don't want to disturb her. And I usually like to go out the entire day so that she just has space in the house to do what she wants to do. And I need to film my video for tomorrow before I leave the house. So, yeah, what a day. So uh, we're going to get up. I'm going to do a little bit of stretching and then uh, i'm gonna hop in the shower quick and then film and be out of here by one <laughs> yeah i challenge myself but yeah it's a saturday let's spend the day together so that you can see what i get up to on a saturday because on saturdays i don't really post much on social media um i don't know it's just not my thing saturday i'm usually away from social media sunday though i come back but saturday i don't post so um if you're curious about why is it that i don't post on saturday this is why <laughs> as you guys know my neighborhood is noisy so you're gonna hear everything and like i said violet is here today so she's also in the background there i forgot to i'm doing my makeup here and i forgot to grab my primer so i'm gonna go get my primer i have super dry hair and i don't dry my hair like dry dry it i literally air dry it like if you get what i mean so for makeup today i've already done my skincare you guys you have to go watch my skincare routine okay let them pass it's like there's a time in this place so you have to go watch my skincare routine which i have already shared before so the mirror is here or here <laughs> so i'm gonna be looking right then i'm gonna be doing my makeup don't mind me um so what i'm gonna do i'm going to apply my primer and i'm using the professional pro balm uh, to minimize the appearance of pores uh, i'm gonna put that on and i like that it's uh, like a little tinted not that it does much for my skin color but it's a little bit tinted and that's just something that i like guys i already have sunscreen on uh please don't forget to put on sunscreen um and i'm just gonna apply this all over the place of the face another primer i'm going to apply is the anglo this is the um, eyeshadow keeper and i'm going to apply this on my lids of course because i'm going to be putting on some eyeshadow uh, this one is also a little bit tinted and i just like to put it on the back of my hand just to control how much is it that i'm applying right there and i'm gonna apply this right on the lid of my eyes just so that my eyeshadow is able to stay for the day next i'm going to put on my powder this is my black opal powder guys you've seen me use it all the time um i'm gonna put this all over my face what it's a setting powder so what it's gonna do is to just set everything in place on my face so that i, I don't oil up because i have oily skin and this is gonna help me not oil up during the day there's this other trick i've seen on tiktok that i really want to try so i'm going to try it with you guys so that we see how it works but this is a vlog so i'm just showing you i got it into my head i'm just showing you my everyday makeup routine for my vlog um but yeah so i'm gonna apply that this is what i do every day and i always drop so i wear a t-shirt that's easily washable today i'm applying two foundations I'm applying my uh, Dior foundation. This is 6W and then I'm applying my Estee Lauder foundation. Uh, this one is in Ember Honey. So I'm gonna apply this in the middle of my face and then this on the outer part of my face. One thing I love about this foundation is that um, it's got a dropper. 
I'm gonna use a brush guys you know this brush I've had it for like years I need to actually even throw it away but I just love the way that it applies so it's got drop so I can literally just put it straight away and I just love the coverage of this foundation guys and can I just tell you it does not transfer no transfer at all none so even if I put on a mask actually it doesn't transfer onto my mask much it does transfer but not like that much you know what i mean like a little bit so i'm gonna apply this all over my face and you guys know that i don't apply makeup to hide i apply makeup to enhance and that's the attitude we should all have we are enhancing we are not hiding so i put just a little bit and i'm going to work this all over my face my forehead usually I apply foundation just to make it uniform i don't know if you've noticed that your forehead is like darker than the rest of your face so i'm making it uniform with everything else on my face i just like to stand far from the mirror just to see what is it that i'm doing that the feels okay <laughs> um so i can't take long jimmy is like the most punctual person and he's the one i'm meeting today in Molo africa he is like the most punctual person so him and Halima, like my friends are very punctual and I'm like the worst person. And you know, in my life, I always give people disclaimers like, if you have expectations of me to be on time, I'm sorry. It's very rare that I'm on time and it's probably, like I just don't have the lifestyle to, to be like super early. Uh, it's the weekend, yes, so I'm making an effort to be there early because we are supposed to be there at one and one is in about 40 minutes. And I stay like five minutes away from Mall of Africa. But for meetings and stuff during the week, guys, I am super busy, like super busy. I have a full-time job, full-time job, and I also have six businesses I run, so you can imagine. So that's that. Then now let's put the Estee Lauder foundation. I just like to shake it a little bit. And I'm going to use the same brush because I don't want it to be like lighter, that much lighter. I just want it to literally highlight my face, like just highlight. So I'm just going to use the same brush, I'm going to brush it in there and I'm going to put right in the middle of my face. So you don't have to do the same thing, you can use normal highlighting cream like everyone else, I just prefer this way. And also, I don't mind having spots on my face. It's like a normal thing for me. I don't mind having these little black thingies on my face, like right there. I don't mind that. It's just naturally part of my face. Um, I'm gonna get that right there. So I'm gonna keep that on my hand just so that I can clean up when I'm done doing my eyebrows. So I love this old way of doing eyebrows. Like I love the pencil and blah, 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 and blah, blah, like all this stuff we're doing now. But I do love like using the cream. This is from iLure and this is in brown. Yeah, number 10 dark brown. So I'm going to find my brush for my eyebrows, my angled brush, if I can find it. It's so tiny, like I usually have to empty the whole thing to find this thing. So. Let's just get these bros information. Basically, I'm going to Mall of Africa. JV is also an influencer like me, and he does mostly like K beauty and all of that. So he's been invited to like an event that's happening in Mall of Africa for a K beauty brand. And I'm not like that much into K beauty. It's not really been my thing, like no. And you know, he's like the person that tries to like educate me about it. Not that I don't follow enough people that use K-Beauty, I do, but Jill is like my expert, it's like my person that knows all about it. So there's going to be Korean food, which I love, you know, I hope there's like a lot of kimchi and um, we're going to just enjoy the day in the mall and just be part of this event and all of that. And I'm going to get to know another Korean brand. I think at what I've done. I think it might be uh, this brand I've been seeing Cotre Sass I've been seeing like this brand all over um, Instagram like everybody, every influencer is being sent this kit from this brand so I have a feeling it's that because it's not really told me like you know so th this just helps me remove the harshness. He's not really told me like um, who it is or whatever he's just said that he was given an invite and Jivi is like one of those friends 
if he gets an invite for like a brand that he can take somebody there, he's gonna take you. Like I like that. Not like some other people. I don't wanna say that. Some people feel like you're gonna steal their shine, so they don't invite you to these things. So <laughs> they don't take you. <laughs> Uh, yeah. You know my shady my shady ass needs to retire like honestly <laughs> So I'm gonna take this angled brush uh, This one is from switch and I'm gonna take you remember that um, Like foundation I said I was keeping and I'm gonna do my cleanup I do it with foundation because I don't particularly like the way that uh, it looks when you clean up with the highlighter like, I don't like the way that looks, but sometimes I do do it. And if I do it, I do mix highlighter with foundation. Um, but the foundation will clean up just as well. So, yeah, I'm happy with these guys. They are not identical twins, and it's fine. So, yeah, these look nice and natural. I'm just going to use the brush side of my spoolie. I just comb these in a little bit up. Like I don't like per I don't like perfection, but I want perfection. I don't know if you get that. Like on my body, on my face, if I'm doing makeup, I don't want it to be perfect, perfect. Because I wasn't born with a perfect face, okay? Uh, up next, so I'm going to now set all of this again with my setting powder. I'm just gonna take a little brush. And I'm gonna dip it in my setting powder and I'm gonna do this because the whole idea of this is to say or to show that I've highlighted my face when I haven't. Uh, I have but I haven't if you know what I mean. If you've been following what I've been doing you'll know that I have but I haven't. Uh, I'm just gonna put a little bit of that underneath my eyes just to set there so that I don't crease up even though the goal is to be dewy. Um, then I'm gonna put some of this on my forehead My nose, my nose, because guys, you, Maguinha, Maguinha on my nose, guys. So I do that, and then I'm going to put right here. And then I'm going to grab the big brush again, put it in there, swirl it in there. Like swirl, 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 swirl. And just dust off in there, and then I'm going to apply this all over my face now. To set everything and this is not going to make me mad I don't get mad at all with this method to be honest and I just I'm fine what's this as you can see I've been avoiding my eyes quite a bit because I do have that um, eyeshadow primer so eyeshadow a friend of mine was in Dubai and I told her please bring me something so she brought me this Huda Beauty Amethyst obsession and it's like purples and lilacs and whatnot and that's that's the color i'm wearing because from the time i spoke to now i've changed my mind about what i'm wearing so this is the color i'm wearing so um the darkest one is that so i'm thinking so this is what it looks like um i wanted a brown and then let me do that so i'm gonna use because i didn't bring any brown eyeshadows i'm gonna use my bronzing powder this is from yardley and i'm gonna use some of this and just kind of put like a little bit of a brown in my crease because I do really like for my base to be like a brown I don't like for my base to be straight the color I'm applying um, because as you can see my eyes are a little bit like my eyelids are a little bit dark so I feel like when I apply a brown it makes sense that's why I even apply it and I just stay like this but this is not what we're doing today so I was gonna apply my bronzing powder guys these products, they are made of the same thing. You can apply it anyway. I don't know why we stress. And then I'm going to use the same uh, blending brush. And I'm going to dip just a little, like literally like that, into that purple. And I'm going to put it also on my crease and just a little bit also all over my eyes. Because I want my eye to kind of have like that purplish, like that dark purplish color. And I'm gonna apply it right there. And this is exactly what I wanted. You know, this is exactly what I wanted, guys. So I'm just gonna put it there, right there. Like that purplish brown color.
Ooh. You know, I could even stay like this, but that's not the goal today, okay? I'm gonna change my blending brush. I'm gonna pick another one. This is from one of my palettes from Urban Decay. And I'm gonna go for that lighter purple right there. And I'm gonna first put it in my crease a little bit before I start putting it on my lid the way I want, just to kind of lighten, I don't know if you can see, but just to kind of lighten that purple that I've put there. And then now, let me blend that a little bit more. You see, it's gradually becoming purple. I feel like putting gel on my eyebrows, but let's see what I turn that. So I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna go into this lighter purple, like that. And then I'm gonna put that on my lid because this is the place where I'm going to put that shimmery um, color. There's like a very nice shimmery color in this palette. And my fingers pick up eyeshadow so well for my lid. So this is like my trick that I do all the time. So I want this shimmery color. It's it's shimmery and then it's it's um that's what it looks like. The one right here, it's it shimmers. Let me show you on my finger. But it's like like that, you see? So I'm gonna put that right there on my lid. Ooh. Oh darling, darling, darling. <laughs> That's very nice. I love this eyeshadow. And then for the corner of my eyes, there is something, um, how can I describe it? This one, it's like a golden purple. So I'm gonna take some of that and just pack it right here. It's like a golden purple type of color. So I'm gonna put it right there. I think that you will only see the true color of my eyeshadow once I'm like editing and I color grade and I fix the colors and yeah, some of us we color grade our videos. It takes a long time and that's what makes me lazy to like post a video because yo, to color grade a video is not a joke. So basically that's the Amethyst palette that I've been wanting to try. And um, next we're gonna bronze up our face because I haven't contoured and I'm gonna use this brush. This is Expert Face Brush from uh, Real Techniques. Real Techniques has amazing brushes. I'm gonna just bronze up my face just to give it some dimension because I have only applied foundation and setting powder. So I was gonna wear red lipstick but now I'm thinking that maybe that's gonna be too much. You know, I don't know. Let's, just, let's try. Because this look with red would look so pretty. Not too chiseled. Like, this is not for like a camera thing. If it was for like a camera thing, I was really honestly going to go all out with my contour. And then uh, for I have my Betty Lou Manizer. This is the Bronzing Bandit. And it's a bronzer, but it's got like, uh, you guys, you've seen this. It was quite popular a while back on South African um YouTube and it's like a shimmery, you know, like beauty products go out of style, like how? <laughs> so I'm gonna take some of that and I'm just gonna put that right on top of that bronzing powder that I have applied, right there. One thing I like about this bronzer, and you see I'm using the same bronzing brush, just so that it doesn't look whitish, ghostish. <laughs> I don't know how you can put that, but just try and make sense. What is whitish, ghostish? I don't want that. So I'm just going to take a little brush, again, from one of my palettes from Novel Decay. And I don't like contouring my nose. You guys know this. I do not like contouring my nose. But I feel like putting just a little bit of my bronzer right here just to define this part a little. I just don't feel like my nose is that kind of nose you contour. I don't know. One day, I'm going to hire a proper makeup artist and I'm going to ask them to show me how to hire, like, contour my nose. Then I'm gonna take my same Betty Lou and oops, I'm just gonna take with the same brush and just apply right there. Just so that I have some kind of highlighting right there. Uh -huh. Okay, let's line our lips. My teacher, when I went to aesthetic school in 2018, shows that if I see you applying makeup on a client, lipstick on a client, and you've not put on a liner, 
you're gonna have to deal with me. So, yeah, I always like my lips since I was in her class. <laughs> so I'm gonna use just a normal brown liner, like so, like that. And I'm gonna apply my mascara because I, I'm still deciding what to do with my lips, okay? I'm using the Lash Sensational from Maybelline. Maybe it's Maybelline. Guys, this mascara is like the bomb. It really, really like extends my lashes as if I've got false lashes on and I do not. So I'm just gonna put that there. Once you guys see my outfit, you're gonna see why I chose this um, eye color. So that makes sense to you. So one day I was shopping in Skins Cosmetics and this lady was selling me Laura Mercier product and she told me, if you want your lashes to have that real false effect, you must go over them twice. So I'm gonna go over them again in a minute because that trick really works. And I bought the product. She's a good saleswoman. Okay, so I'm gonna go over them again. They mustn't be too dry because then it's gonna be tacky and sticky. Alright. Alright, alright. Haha. -ha. You see what I mean? You see what I'm talking about? Lash sensational. Lash sensational. Okay. Alright. So I need to go get my setting powder. Guys, what do you think about this red? I wish it was Instagram because you guys can tell me straight away. I think this one maybe might be too red. Let me go find something else because this Fenty one is like red, red. Okay, I'm coming back. I found these. They're almost the same color, but they're glosses. So this is a Wet n Wild uh, Mega Sleek Lip Gloss. And then this is Soft Matte Lip Cream from NYX. So I'm going to try those two. This is a bit more on the orangey side though. Yeah, that's a little bit more on the orangey side. Let's see this one. It's just that with that Fenty lipstick, it was gonna, um, you see? I want like a less is more look. It was gonna be too much. So I'm just gonna try this one. Not bad. If you've ever used that Fenty lipstick, you know. Like, your lips will be red, red, okay? I like this. Mm. Much better. And just to soften the red, I'm just passing my finger through so that it's not like red, red, you know? Okay, so yeah, I'm done. So all I have to do now is go get dressed and then my cute self is gonna take myself out of this house. Okay? <laughs> I'll be back. Guys, look at that eyeshadow. Mm -mm. Look at those lips. I look so cute. I look so gorgeous. <laughs> On a Saturday. Hey, I better catch big fish. So I told you guys that once you see my outfit, my eye look would make a lot of sense. So this is what I'm wearing. This is from Superbalist, Zara and H&M. And yeah, you'll be able to see the true colors, I think, when I'm out of this light in my house. But it's all like lilac, lavender, purple. So that's why my eye look just makes sense for this look. And yeah, I wanted to show you also uh, my face here. Because I think that here, because I don't have like all the light in the bathroom, you get to see my face, what it looks like. And these earrings are from my collection with Jolie Bijou. I'll add the link in the description box and you can shop my jewelry. And these are like one of my favorite. They're like these little, let me take one out and show you. They're like these little twisted, they, it's like a twisted type of situation. I'm gonna finally leave the house. I hate it when I vlog the whole day I'm in the house. I don't enjoy it. So we're gonna finally leave the house and we're gonna be out there. Bye Violet. Bye. See you next week. <laughs> I've not been spending time with Violet these days. Mm -hmm. I'm a busy single girl, Violet. We need to find somebody to pay our rent. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> <Bye. laughs>
<laughs> Finally, he looks so nice. I need like a detail of your outfit. Uh, yes. No. Guys, look at this bag. Look at this bag. Look at this bag. Girl. <laughs> so this is where we're going, right? Yeah. So. Okay. I was trying to explain the whole K Beauty thing that I'm not into it and that you're the one into it. Okay, we'll get to that later. Yeah, much later. <laughs> because I don't get it. I haven't you... been on your vlog since my birthday last year. Yeah. Like it's been a long time. I'll start here with my old favorites. Okay. Who are they? Oh! This is oh. Shime as well? No, it's not Who is it from? From me! Dude, it's like so cloudy. So guys, we're going to find some Korean or Indian food and we are at a place somewhere in four ways I still have to wear my mask but we are somewhere in four ways and we're going to find food because Vivi and I love food we like to eat and there's apparently some African restaurant that he wants to show me so let's see me to this restaurant and it's called Dosa Hut and it's like his newest favorite old favorite old, old favorite from the other place from Fordsburg yes from Fordsburg and this is where they are so now we're in four ways yeah now we're in four ways so please please come check them out I can't wait to eat the food I'm recommending the restaurant before even eating so because Gigi likes but it but I don't recommend bad places no you don't you've never recommended bad places actually <laughs> To be fair, mm -hmm. when it comes to food, I trust you. So mm -hmm. I don't eat at lots of places. That's what you know. Yes, mm -hmm. but he eats at a lot of Korean places. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, which his favorite food is the masala dosa, the pa paneer. Mm -hmm. Paneer, yeah. Yeah, and then what are you having for me? I'm not sure yet. I still have to decide. Yeah, I already know what I'm having for There's me. lots of veg options if you're vegetarian. vegetarian. Oh. Okay, <laughs> please tell them how you became vegetarian suddenly this year because I don't want to... Last have year, not suddenly. Last year. So I was actually vegetarian for a lot of years before. And then I've been on and off, on and off. But then my boyfriend inspired me to go back to my roots. His so. hot boyfriend. Wow. Because <laughs> my other boyfriends are ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything. <laughs> so, oh my god, I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. It's fine, they don't know you. <laughs> yes. So now I'm going back to my good Yes, to being a Hindu boy. Yeah. 
So when I so you're never gonna eat like fish with me. Never. He's in love now, guys. So and did you that bag I showed you, the Fendi bag, where is it? Uh, no, this one I bought myself. Oh, did you buy this one yourself? This one I got Please, please show them. That bag. Where's the one Sham got you? It's at home. Oh, okay. So this is a Fendi bag he got himself. I thought Sham got you this one. Um, <laughs> I love this bag, guys. I might just borrow it later. <laughs> oh, the food is coming. Uh, samosas. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. So this is potato and cheese. Yum. Okay, everything, everywhere I've eaten in Boxburg has been nice, so this restaurant better represent. You know, Boxburg? Yeah. I've gone to Boxburg at that China place, and I've bought, like, a lot of Indian food. Yeah. I'm, unless Fordsburg, I'm saying Boxburg. Yeah, Fordsburg. The lighting from here is so amazing, dude. Yeah, you look so good. Like, <laughs> like you look so good. You look so good. This is so nice, but the guy forgot my straw. It's nice though, right? Mm. It's cooling. Mm. I can like eat so much chili with this stuff. What is in it? Mint? Yeah, it's mint and lemon. Mm. And I think a little cucumber. Mm. It's nice. Where was this like when it was 35 degrees? You know. Yum. Oh, oh, I can't wait to post that. Um, so it's masala dosa. This one is huge. This is and, Kobe Manchuria. Uh, yeah, cauliflower. And it's basically like a chicken, you know, like chicken, sweet and sour chicken. That's how, that's how it looks. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to taste this. Let's begin. So this is coconut chutney. This is my favorite. Oh, I thought it looked like... Um, what's that thing you like? Eating hummus. <laughs> mm, no, so it's coconut, so just try it. Okay. So you just break. This is like... Dip. Okay, coconut chutney. This is samba, so this is like tomato base with like vegetables. Okay. And then this is also a chutney, but I don't know what this one's made of. Looks like chili though. It is hotter than the white one. Okay, but. let's try this. Mm -hmm. This is almost like we are doing um, mukbang. <laughs> mukbang? Yes. So this is like a pancake. Okay. So if you just, just watch this thing. You should have given it to you like this. Let's bring my juice, please. Uh -huh. Okay. So this is actually a main. This is a main. Mm. <laughs> well, it's my starter, guys. So, uh, dip coconut. What? Coconut what? Coconut chutney. Mm. It's nice. Why have I never had that? It's only in South Indian restaurants. Haven't you been to any? Tava is kind of South Indian, but they don't do everything. Yummy. Mm. Oh my gosh. So, like, what's the name of your tribe in India? Mm. So, my dad's family is from the Tamil. So, they're from Tamil Nadu. Mm. So, that's like South. And then my mom's family is Telugu, but they're also South. Ah, so. okay. The, but India is huge though. I'm sure there's like a million tribes there. There yeah. is. But you know the normal rivalry in North and South, no matter which country. Mm. Also the skin colors. Because mm. I know that South Indians are darker, right? Well, that's what, that's just the myth that people made. Because mm. look at me. You're not like... So dark. This one is white, guys. <laughs> Yellow bone. <laughs> Yellow bone. <laughs> mm. Okay. I love all of them. Mm. But this is really delicious. Mm. And then this yeah. is like a stew. Mm. Mm. Okay. And um. your potato is hiding in Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. I need to get a picture of my food. Lamb curry uh, with potatoes. And then Jiggy is having paneer. Paneer, yeah. which is cottage cheese curry. This looks like a green curry though. And then rice, and then I got my drink bigger. This stuff is delicious, guys. <laughs> so my day with Chivi is over. I'm now at my cousin's place in Morningside to spend the rest of the day with them. And then I'll head home. Look at my face. I'm oily. I'm a grease ball. Oily. My makeup isn't like doing the most anymore. So yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to film here, 
but I will try film here because you know my family gets uncomfortable in front of the camera so I don't know we'll see <coughs> well that's the welcome I'm getting hey hello my chicken is ready thank you <laughs> okay hey guys look who's here i'm right here you're getting the food ready mm, the food yeah. we discussed yesterday i'm, I'm doing the things you guys know. this is cabello cabello Ketty. you better follow him on instagram okay he's gonna be on youtube soon anyways so you better follow him because you're gonna have a link in his page what are you saying do the right thing man <laughs> let's see what you're making oh what is that ice Yes, uh, the fire was too much from, for my liking. Oh, okay. That's what? Pork? No, this is our uh, steak. Steak? Where's the chicken? Actually, you've got steak. Where's the chicken? Uh, the chicken is right here. I'm smoking it. Ah, uh, okay. Mmm. Okay. I, I came at the right time. At the, you, you know, you came at the right time, at the right <laughs> moment. Everything is getting ready right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did like a meat ball kind of thing. Oh, that's nice. You, but you only made one. Yeah, because it comes from the thing from the ball. Oh, okay. Well, I am going to be eating soon. The only problem is that, Cabello. Yes, that. Where I went there, eh? there was a lunch situation. You ate coming to me. How can you eat coming to me? <laughs> you know I cook each and every time. No, I will eat. I will eat, but not like as much as I usually do. <laughs> All the back, follow me. You know me. I'm the you best better cooker follow. in town. <laughs> hey guys, I'm home. It's like 1 a.m. Um, yeah, 1 o'clock. And I'm five glasses, actually three glasses of wine in. And... So three glasses of wine and about three glasses of champagne in. I'm finished. I'm tired. It's so cold and I'm just going to sleep and I'm going to end my vlog here. So I got home and somebody had has parked in my parking and I'm just like, what the hell? Let me hide my boob. <laughs> and I'm just like, what the hell? Why are you parked in my parking? You know what I mean? So yeah, it was a great day. I had a good day. I'm just tired and I'm, I don't think I'm tipsy anymore, but let's just say that I'm tipsy and I'm tired and I just want to sleep until tomorrow and then wake up and edit this vlog and post it. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you to everybody that has subscribed. If you haven't, please subscribe to my channel and I'm also on Instagram. If you want to shop any of the products that I sell, all my links are in my bio. And if you want to get to know me away from YouTube, the links for my Instagram, my Facebook and everything are in my bio and you'll find them there. And if you have any questions about this vlog or anything else that I've uploaded, please let me know. My battery is actually flashing. Let me turn, let me turn off all my alarms so that they don't wake me up in the morning. But as you can see, I took off my makeup. Take off your makeup before bed. Let me sleep, guys. My camera is going to die now. Good night and see you in my next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>